pregnant use shearing rules. Um, as I get older, I suppose um, I like to shear sheep that are easy shearing. Um, there's some tougher shearing ones out there, but sometimes they're only tough because um, we're shearing them at the wrong time of the year. So this ewe here, she's she'd be a nice shearing ewe. Um, she's off shears now. You can see she's heavily pregnant, um, the one in the picture. But never shear a ewe two weeks prior to lambing or up until six or eight weeks after lambing. Two weeks prior to lambing, they can get pregnancy toxemia, especially if they're carrying twins inside of them. So that's a no-no. You don't want to crutch your ewes before them. Crutch your ewes about, or your sheep about a month out from lambing. Um, that's what I find is best. They're not, they're, they're still fairly weighty then, but they're not as weighty as they would be a week or two weeks out from lambing because the lambs grow very quickly in that last trimester, last few weeks, and they become much, much heavier. So to avoid preg tox, um, twin lambing sickness, uh, just crutch or shear your lambs at least a month, if not more, before they lamb, then they won't get pregnancy toxemia, not from shearing anyway. Um, and do not shear a sheep um, six to eight weeks, before six to eight weeks after they've had their lamb. Now the reason for this, you might think, oh, well, it's springtime, the ewe's just had its lamb, let's get them both in, we can do the lamb marking when the lamb is young, and we can shear the ewe as well. Um, I would advise against that, because that ewe will have a break on the skin, um, where the stress of having that little lamb has caused the wool to break, and then the new wool starts to grow through. But where that break is, um, the comb needs to get underneath that break in order to for it to comb on the skin. And if it doesn't go through, if it doesn't can't go underneath, then it goes on top and you get a dreadful cut. Um, it won't comb the wool. So, and you'll think, you're, you'll, you'll just think, oh, I'm hopeless at shearing. I'm not doing a very good job. It looks horrible. It looks scruffy, but it's not you at all. It is the... Um, it's the it's the fleece the new fleece coming through hasn't grown enough for you to push your comb through on the, onto the skin. It sticks above the skin, and you won't get a good a good cut a good comb through the through the sheep. And you'll have to drive the handpiece hard into the into the wool to get a cut, and which can cause um, cutting the skin of the sheep accidentally, and especially on the belly vein, um, doing the belly wool because that ewe is producing a lot of milk. There's a big uh, belly vein running down um, close to the surface of the skin. And if you nick that belly vein, um, which uh, is providing a lot of blood to the udder to produce the milk, she will bleed profusely. Now you can stitch her up successfully if you stitch her up with a with a stitch below where you've cut her and you'll stop the stop the blood and the blood will find uh, um, veins and capillaries to go around where you've stitched up and you stop the blood flow um, and it will it will mend um, but you'd prefer not to do that if you can shear six to eight weeks after when the after the she's had the lamb and the wool is much um, coming through the new wool is coming through and if you get shearers in to shear your sheep they'll thank you for it if a shearer has to shear a sh sheep that's only just had a lamb um, they won't shear as many sheep. They'll be grumpier, and um, you're, better, you're best better off for the ewes' sake and you, yourself and your shearers' sake for waiting that little bit extra. And think about, oh well, my sheep might be getting flies by that time. Crutch her earlier so that she won't get dags. Um, get a make sure that she hasn't got worms for the dags, um, and also maybe use a fly pre preventative. A maggot preventative like click or something um, to, so they won't get maggots um, from the time that they have their lamb to the time you're ready to shear the sheep shear the sheep so that's something just a bit of planning and you can work it out um, so you can get the sheep shorn at the optimum time